to my story time. Today's story is Melu. High up in the sun-baked hills, on a rocky island floating in a glittering green sea, lived a herd of stubborn mules. The mules had been clip-clopping around the sun-baked hills for generations. They always clip-clopped in the same direction, west towards the setting sun and they never ventured down to their glittering green sea. But Malou was different. He was always out of step. When the herd clipped, Malou clopped. When the others clopped, Malou clipped. As he clopped clipped around the sunbaked hills, Malou imagined he was galloping across lush green fields. Every night he dreamt he was splashing in the glittering green sea. So one day, Melu turned around. You can't go that way, the other mules brayed. Turn back before it's too late. Melu was very scared, but he didn't turn back. The other mules got angry. If you go that way, you will starve and die and the sun will melt your eyes. But Malou was as stubborn as any mule, so he kept going. The sun-baked hills were dry and dusty. There wasn't a single blade of fresh grass. The other mules were right. He was going to starve and die. But the sun didn't melt his eyes. In fact, it felt nice having the sun in his face for a change. Malou clop clipped along until he saw a faint trail winding down the sun-baked hills. Far below, he glimpsed the gentle green valley with lush green fields flowing into the glittering green sea. Malou took a deep breath and he started winding his way down. He didn't get far. A rock slider swept down the sun-baked hills, burying the trail under rubble. There was no way around, so Melu sat down and waited. He didn't have to wait long before Goat came click clattering along. What are you waiting for? asked Goat. I am waiting for a way past this rubbly rock slide, Melu replied. Then I am going down to the glittering green sea. I've always wanted to go down to the glittering green sea, said Goat. If I guide you over the rubbly rock slide, can I come too? What a fine idea, Melu replied. Sure hoof goat clip clattered over the rubbly rock slide. Melu clop clip close behind. Together, they continued down the trail. They didn't get far. A tree trunk had tumbled across the trail. Goat tried to clip clatter over but it was much too dangerous. So they sat down and waited. They didn't have to wait long before Bull came stomp stamping along. What are you waiting for? asked Bull. We're waiting for a way over the stretcher's trunk, Melu replied. Then we're going down to the glittering green sea. I've always wanted to go down to the glittering green sea, said Bull. If I clear this treacherous trunk away, can I come too? What a splendid idea, Melu and Goat replied. Sturdy Bull stomped stamped as he shoved the treacherous trunk clear. Goat clip clattered through, Melu clop clip close behind. Together they continued down the trail. Down, down they wound. They got very far too. But at the edge of the gentle green valley, a wild rushing river blocked their way. Sure Hoof Goat tried to click clatter over, but the river's swirling made his hoofs unsure. So he turned back. Sturdy Bull tried to stomp stamp through, but the swishing river made him feel unsturdy. So he turned back too. But the river 
wasn't as stubborn as Malu. Sure hoof sturdy and stubborn together can surely cross any river, said Malu. The river nearly tripped Goat, but Malu and Bull steadied him. The river tried to topple Bull, but Malu and Goat held him tight. Clop clip, click clatter, stomp stamp, step by stubborn step, across to the other side. They galloped through lush green grass. They splashed in the glittering green sea. They tumbled and laughed and played all day. Then they sat down together to watch the stars poking holes in the sky. While high up in the sun-baked hills, the herd of stubborn mules clip-clopped past, never once glancing down to the glittering green sea. That was my story, Melu. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.